Hi everyone, this is Sherry from Planning Peep and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be filming my memory spread for the week of December 30th through January 5th, which happens to be New Year's week, so happy 2020 everyone. I'm actually filming this spread before I film my Christmas spread. Um, I am going to go back into memory plan this and I believe the videos will be uploaded um, chronologically, but this is the first time I've ever planned out of order. I'm usually a super consistent and chronological planner, so I like almost never go out of order, but for this particular week, I wanted to start with this spread first because um, the kit that I'm going to be using perfectly matches my nails. And I know it seems really silly, but I just really love it when my nails can match the kit. And it was like already starting to chip, so I was going to change my polish. And um, then I realized like, oh my gosh, it's a perfect match. So I have to film this before I can um, change my nail polish. So anyways, for this week, I have this gorgeous kit from you are you co it's everything that i love it's all pink and shiny silver foil and super pretty i actually got this kit customized because this was originally for the year 2019 and um, i asked the shop owner if she would be willing to change it to 2020 for me and she agreed so i was really appreciative of that because i really really wanted to use this kit for the new year so here we have the nine full boxes and they are a mix between photographs and artwork which i also really love that you know she's kind of like mixing different media and then we have the sheet of full box checklist here on this page we have the bottom washi the date covers some washi strips some flags and some little arrow icons on here we've got the half boxes quarter boxes we have some three heart checklists and then all of these headers at the bottom and this page is also foiled we've got these headers build do stickers a habit tracker some circle icons functional icons some heart check flags and then a monday through sunday box for the sidebar and this last page here has a ton of flags at the top we've got some asterisk stickers we have a weekend banner some circle icons a movie marquee she also has this box down here which has five different lines that you can can use like as a checklist and so there are definitely a ton of stickers in this kit I'll have a lot of leftovers I already know and I'm planning to pull in more foiled items to match this spread so yeah we'll kind of see how it turns out so if you're interested in watching me use this kit then go ahead and stay tuned and as usual I'm going to be starting by placing down the bottom washi for this week, I decided to pull in a Simply Gilded Bow Washi that I had in my collection, and this one was sent to me by a really sweet planner friend named Jessica from Paper and Black Roses. She does have a YouTube channel in case you guys are interested in checking out a new channel. But anyways, the foil on this particular washi is in hollow, and the kit is in silver foil, so it wasn't an exact match, but I feel like um, those are pretty close to where I didn't really mind mixing those metals. It did take me a while to put down the bottom washi this week because um, both of those strips are transparent and so I had to white out all of the lines on the air and chondrin to make sure they did not peek through. Once I'm done with that, I moved to my sidebar and I first placed down the quote box in the top corner and then I pulled in the silver foiled December sticker and that is from Art Box Stickers and I just placed that right on top of the full box. I then cut up a strip of the thinner bottom washi that I didn't end up using, and I used that to create a header between the full box and the rest of the sidebar. Underneath that, I placed down the habit tracker to track my working out, and then I used a flag with this heart checklist to mark my happy moments of the week. I then placed down a little things and used the Monday through Sunday box to track my dinners, and for my happy moments header, I decided to pull in the silver foiled heart from Hazel Sticker. I then move on to putting down all of my date covers for this week, and even though the kit did come with some date dots, I decided to pull in these ones from Tagami Fox instead because they have a clear background, and I just didn't really feel like using the date dots that had the white background from the kit. Once I place down all of that, I go ahead and move on to Monday. So the first thing I put down is a today header, and then I pulled in this hexagon icon from the kit with an upload sticker from Randy.plans to mark that I uploaded a plan with me that morning. I also pulled in this really cute bow sticker from Planning Like a Pro just to add a little more foil. And then I decided to use this foiled header from Tagami Fox on top of the Today header. 
On Monday, I met up with Vanessa from Plans with Vanessa, and we went and got some Korean food and grabbed boba. So to mark that, I used a half box, and I thought very appropriately, I pulled in the sticker from her shop to mark hanging out with her. And it's been a while since we've seen each other because she recently moved up to the Bay Area, but it was really good getting to catch up with her and just hang out over winter break. Then I put down a flag sticker with this boba from Paper Bear Co. to mark our boba sesh, and underneath that, I placed down a full box. Later that evening, my boyfriend and I went with a couple friends to check out this new, um, I don't really know what it's called, but it's kind of like a food court where there's a lot of food vendors and beer, um, but it's like more fancy than a mall food court, I guess. Um, I feel like they've been very popular lately, but I don't actually know the correct term for them. But anyways, I pulled in this Beer Girl sticker from Paper Bear Co. to mark that. And then at the end of the night, we watched some Terrace House, which is one of our favorite shows. So I go ahead and mark that with a flag and the silver foiled bow from Planning like a pro. The brush pen that I'm using this week is from Pilot and it's definitely one of my favorite ones. Um, so once I'm done with that, I go ahead and move on to Tuesday. The first thing I do on Tuesday is cut up another strip of that bottom washi and use it as a header. Um, I feel like it's the perfect size for a header, so that's why I decided to pull it in as that instead of using it at the bottom. Then I used a quarter box with this heart sticker from Hazel Sticker to mark that Tuesday was New Year's Eve, and then I put down a full box underneath. I pulled in the silver foiled coffee sticker from Hazel Sticker to mark that we got some coffee and breakfast on Tuesday morning. And then I layered a couple strips of washi together and pulled in this silver foil today header from Art Box Stickers to create um, kind of a larger header, I guess, because those today script stickers are quite large. And then I cut up a three heart checklist to mark some things that we did that day. I pulled in this planning sticker from Paper Bear Co. I love her girl icons. I think they're so cute um, because I did film a plan with me that day. And then um, that night we went over to a friend's house to celebrate New Year's. Um, they were having a little New Year's party. So it was really fun getting together with them and ringing in 2020. I used a silver foiled bow from Hazel sticker on top of the half box. For Wednesday, I decided to use the 2020 box because of course, Wednesday is the first day of the new year. And then at the top, I initially put down a header with the circle icon that says hello, and I just wrote in 2020. But um, I was looking over my spread and I decided to change the placement of my full boxes, mainly because I felt like the 2020 box should be at the top of the day because of course, the start of the day is 2020. And then I wanted the celebration balloons to be at the bottom of Tuesday because that was when we went to the new year's party. and I felt like it was just, um, I don't know, I felt like this was a better placement for the full boxes to kind of represent what happened chronologically, and it just made more sense in my mind to have them this way. Continuing with my spread, on Wednesday, the first day of the year, I got to sleep in that morning, which is always lovely. That sticker is from um, what used to be Toffee Bananas, but I know she has a new shop name now. I can never remember off the top of my head, but I promise I'll link the correct shop down below. And then that day, my boyfriend and I decided to get some Din Tai Fung for lunch. That's one of our favorite restaurants. And to mark that, I used a quarter box with this utensil sticker from Hazel Sticker. For some reason, I decided to go back and bold my writing for the New Year's Eve party. Um, I didn't end up liking how it turned out, but it was too late. I already bolded it, so I just had to roll with it. And then um, continuing with Wednesday, I go ahead and place down a Today header, and then I used a half box at the very bottom to mark something we did that night. I then cut up a heart checklist into four hearts to mark some things that we did during the day. One of the things I did was just have some time to relax, so I pulled in the sleeping mask sticker from Planning Like a Pro. On the half box, I wanted to mark that we went over to our friend's place that night and they made us a surf and turf dinner, which was amazing. It was so delicious. Um, and it was just a really nice way to start the new year with some good friends. And um, I also pulled in the silver foiled heart from Hazel Sticker to mark that. Moving to Thursday, I go ahead and place down this header at the top, and because the text wasn't really what I wanted, I went ahead and whited it out, and instead I put this important script sticker on top of that. Um, I believe that's from Nightingale Paper Co. I then pulled in the Lazy Day sticker from the kit with this sleeping girl from Plans with Vaness to mark that we had a pretty lazy morning on Thursday. I then decided to switch the script icon to this Today one instead, and unfortunately, I don't know which shop that's from. I tried looking on the sheet, but it didn't have a shop name, so I can't quite remember which shop I got that from. We then went to Costco, which I put on a quarter box and pulled in this grocery icon sticker. I think that's from Nicole Hedge Designs, and then I decided to put down a full box underneath that. 
That full box had very minimal foiling, so I decided to pull in more foiling by using this bow sticker from Planning Like a Pro, and I just added that to the champagne glass, which I thought was really perfect. And then um, that night, I did record a voiceover, so I used one of the circle icons from the kit with this record voiceover sticker from Randy.Plans. I decided to jazz up the circle a little bit by cutting out one of the silver hearts on a heart checklist. I didn't really have any icons that were small enough to fit in that section, so um, I decided to cut that out. The first heart I cut out didn't look very good, so I decided to cut out a second heart and place it on top, and I think that one turned out much better. Continuing with the day, I cut up a strip of the bottom washi as a header again, and then I pulled in this flag sticker and used a coffee from Sweet Ava's Paper to mark that I went to a coffee shop with a friend and we just had some time to chat. And yeah, it was really nice getting to do that with her because we haven't really hung out um, just by ourselves before, so I felt like I really got to know her a bit better. And then at the end of the night, my boyfriend and I just binged Terrace House again, so I decided to pull in this house icon that came with the kit. For Friday, I first put down a full box at the very bottom, and then I cut up another strip of that bottom washi as a header for the top. I decided that the font of the Today script sticker on Thursday didn't quite match the theme of this kit. I felt like it was just a little too bold, so I decided to write Today myself and just place that right over the header. Moving back to Friday, I first pulled in this little things from the kit to mark that my boyfriend and I did an LA day on Friday, um, which just means that we drove up to LA and hung out there for most of the day. It's not super far getting into LA, but I feel like the traffic is always horrible, so we just don't tend to go very often. Um, first, we grabbed some lunch at a noodle place, and it was so amazing. I put that on a flag and pulled in this noodle sticker, which I believe is from Whimsical Cat Studio. I then cut up a heart checklist into three hearts and just wrote in some of the things we did afterwards. Um, we grabbed some macarons, we went hiking, and then we went to a Japanese um, bar slash tap room where we had some beer and some sake samples. We then did date night at a sushi restaurant, so I felt like it was a very Japanese themed day. Um, to mark that, I used a half box and the silver foil date night sticker is from Randy.Plans. I also pulled in this adorable sushi icon from Paper and Milk, and then for my heart checklist, I pulled in this shoe sticker from Hazel Sticker. I switched out the color of the shoe because I felt like that purple wasn't quite a match for the purple that was in the kit, um, so I switched it for the pink one instead, and then at the end of the night, we just watched more Terrace House, so I used this TV emoji from the Coffee Monsters Co. On Saturday, I first placed down a full box at the very top, and I found these um, silver foiled script sticker for my collection. I think those were samplers from our box stickers when I ordered from her, and I felt like that sticker was really perfect to pull in for the new year. It says word of the year, and to be honest, I've never really been like a word of the year kind of person. Um, I don't do well with very abstract goals. For this year, I actually decided to make a 20 in 2020 list of just 20 different things that I would like to accomplish this this year and they're all um, very concrete like specific things like for example I want to attend a baseball game and a hockey game um, I want to try cooking a new dish every month and um, just other little things on there that again are just very concrete and achievable and I feel like that's how my brain works a little bit better so it took me forever to come up with a word of the year and I decided to use the word inspire because I feel like I want to feel inspired this year but honestly it doesn't really mean a lot to me unfortunately it's just something I wanted to put in my planner because I had the sticker for it and I just thought it'd be perfect. But let me know if you guys do have like a word of the year or like resolutions that you guys have made. I love to hear about other people's goals because I feel like it definitely helps to inspire me to come up with some new goals for myself and think outside the box. Okay, that was a really long explanation, so let's continue with the spread. Um, we went and got dim sum with some friends on Saturday morning, so I used a quarter box with this dim sum sticker from Wonton in a Million to mark that, and then I grabbed some boba, so I pulled in another boba sticker from Paper Bear Co., and I layered that over a hexagon from the kit and also used the silver foiled boba run sticker from Randy.Plans. I then put down a half box with this Gaming Maru sticker from Paper and Milk to mark that we played a board game with our friends that day. It was part two of the game that we've been playing. And then I moved to the very end of the night and used a little things to mark that I paid my credit card bill. In the remaining space, I pulled in this flag with a silver foiled bow from Planning Like a Pro, which I've used like throughout the spread to mark the TV show that we watched that night. 
On Sunday, I first placed down a Today header, and then I used this silver foiled post-it note from Hazel Sticker paired with a self-care day sticker from Artbox Stickers um, because Sunday was definitely a self-care day for me. Um, it was the last day of our winter break, so I definitely took it slow on Sunday and just kind of got myself back into the mindset of returning to work. I pulled in a quarter box sticker from Regina Laughs and a pillow from Dizzy Daisy Dreams to mark that I slept in that morning. And then I used a full box underneath that with a um, header and a three heart check list to mark some things that I did that day. At the bottom, I pulled in a quarter box and then I decided to fill everything in after I placed down all the boxes. Um, on the three heart checklist, I put down this little TV icon from the kit and then on the quarter box, I used this bow sticker from Stella Bow Sticker Co. to mark that I FaceTime my parents that night. Like I said, it was a really chill Sunday, just kind of getting ready for work, um, so not a whole lot was going on, and um, yeah, that was it. So I moved back to my sidebar and track all my happy moments and my dinners, and now I'm just showing you these stickers that I have left. Um, the paper that she uses does have like a blue background, so it's kind of hard to see. I've never really seen this paper before, um, and then now I'm just doing a vid wiggle to show you guys all the foiling as a whole, and then to show you guys some of the foiling and details a little bit better, um, I go ahead and do a walkthrough of this spread, and as you can see, there's definitely quite a bit of foiling that I try to pull in. I don't have as much silver foiled stickers as I have gold foiled, so it was definitely kind of a stretch to um, find stickers to pull in, but I think I managed to do okay. So yeah, that is it for my first spread of 2020. I'm almost all caught up with my spreads, and yeah, I'm just feeling really positive and really great about this year. I've already accomplished a couple things on my 20 in 2020 list, so I'm again just feeling very motivated um, and inspired. So I guess that word actually does fit after all. Um, but anyways, that's enough rambling for today. I feel like I've been very chatty, so I hope you guys don't really mind that. Please let me know if you guys have any questions. And as always, thank you so much for your support and for watching my video. Um, I hope you all have a wonderful week and I will talk to you guys next time. Bye.